So in this video, we visit Canyons of the Ancients and Hovenweep National Monuments. Where we explore beautiful canyons and see the remnants of large pueblos, cliff dwellings, and towers, both near the road and on some hikes. We've been spending some time in western Colorado and we were looking for where to go next. Yeah, and there's this funky area in the lower left corner of Colorado called Canyons of the Ancients that sort of drew our attention and we knew we had to check it out. So our initial Google searching didn't tell us too much other than we knew the area was managed by the BLM and it was one of the most dense archaeological sites in North America. So that kind of piqued our interest. One thing it did tell us is that if you are thinking about visiting, that you should visit the Anasazi Heritage Center in the nearby town of Dolores, which doubles as the visitor center for the National Monument. So I'd head out to Lowry Pueblo first. It's kind of a quick stop. It's right off the parking lot. Okay. It's probably our most popular site. Talking to the ranger, he quickly answered all the questions that we had and sent us off with a collection of maps and brochures. And so I think we're ready to explore. So we're here at the Lori Pueblo, which is, we were told, is the most popular site in the Canyon of the Ancients. It was constructed about a thousand years ago by the ancestral Puebloans, and they lived here for about 165 years. It has 40, at least 40 rooms and several kivas and even a great kiva. And even though it's the most popular, we're here on a Saturday morning in late June and we're the only ones here. So which is a really nice experience. The ranger that we talked to at the visitor center told us about a route that we could drive that would hit some of the high points in the monument. And as a bonus, it also took us through Hovenweep National Monument as well. Oddly enough, Hovenweep is managed by the National Park Service, whereas Canyon of the Ancients is managed by BLM. So Canyon of the Ancients is basically free, whereas here, the National Park Service charges you. So you'll either need to pay or have a park pass. And what you'll see here is a collection of different partial structures along a canyon and you can see them all on a two mile walking loop. Yeah, it's an easy trail. It's basically like a nature trail, but instead of nature, it's ancient sites. They give you a brochure that points out and provides information for each one. It's a pretty cool site.
back to the ranger at the Canyon of the Ancients Visitor Center, we had been thinking we were gonna do some dispersed camping in the monument, and he was even able to tell us some good spots for that. So that was the plan. But today, when we ended up in the Hovenweep National Monument, uh, Near the visitor center, there was a campground, and just on a chance, we took a drive around it just to check it out and see what it looked like, and it was completely empty. So it seemed like there wasn't going to be a lot of people here, and there were bathrooms and nice tent pads and shade, all things we didn't really think we were going to get in the dispersed camping spaces that were that we were looking at. So, so yeah, we changed our plans, paid our 15 bucks, and got a site here at Hovenweep. And now we're hoping that uh, we're going to be able to go out and get a look at the ruins in sort of a different, a different time of day because sunset is coming up and we might even have it to ourselves. We'll see. So this morning we left Hovenweep and headed back to Canyon of the Ancients in Colorado to do a bit of hiking. So we're at the Sand Canyon Trailhead and it is a 12 and a half mile trip if we were going to do it out and back, which we are not going to do the whole thing, but there are a number of sites along the trail and a lot of those look like they're in sort of the first three miles or so. So we're just going to do part of this trail, see what there is to see and share it with you. I'm trying to get out and back before the heat or the rain. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. <laughs> We really enjoyed our time at Canyons of the Ancients over the past two days. There is a lot of land in this national monument and a lot of history and archaeological sites, but there aren't a lot of roads and so it can be challenging to really get in to see things. Yeah, but there are some that are fairly accessible like the ones we show you here. The Lowry Pueblo, for instance, was right off of a pretty accessible gravel road. We don't have any kind of fancy car or anything. Um, and you can see the ancient Pueblo there. And also the Visitor Center actually has some great exhibits and there's even an ancient Pueblo on site there. So beyond that, Hovenweep National Monument was also a nice little addition we discovered on our loop. And like everything out here, it was not crowded and it had some interesting artifacts or ruins on an easy two mile hike. And if you're interested in doing more, a little more hiking, the San Canyon Trail was a great way to get out into some beautiful country and to see even more archaeological sites. And a lot of times, probably you'd have them to yourself. Yeah. So if you're in the area, you're probably here for Mesa Verde, which is a pretty amazing site. And these things are no substitute for that. But if you are here, um, and you want to see more and you like the idea of a more self-guided kind of experience, we definitely recommend checking out both of these national monuments. Yeah, for sure. So if you made it this far, please consider subscribing and hit that like button. And until we meet again on the next one. Thanks.